Welcome Wastelanders to our walkthrough of the various locations that you can explore in the glowing sea of Fallout 4. Now here with me yet again today to share some of his experiences of his time in the glowing sea is Digital Falcon. Hey what's going on everybody, Digital Falcon here once again. <laughs> Now, as you can see, the first location that we've just taken you to is the abandoned shack. There was a suitcase there. You're going to want to search that for a key that allows you to get into this underground facility that we're just headed into. Now, I'm not going to give too much away as that takes away from the fun of you searching for yourself. However, I will say that you'll need to make sure that you search the whole facility or you're going to miss some important items. I think you had an interesting experience down in this facility, didn't you? Um, I can't give away too much information. I'm I'm deep into the uh, I'm deep into the story to the point where um I had a different experience than you have. Yeah, <laughs> I can't get into all of it. <laughs> Massive spoiler. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> all right, so headed back out into the glowing sea. Now the next location that I'm going to show you is. Uh, I believe it's called the Forgotten Church. Yes, it is. Now, there's not much there, but it's certainly worth checking out just so that you've at least got it discovered on your map. Then the other location there is the Capsized Factory. And again, we're not going to travel there now as that is a part of the storyline, uh, same as the Crater of Adam, and I don't want to spoil any of that for you. So instead, we're going to head over to the Decayed Reactor Site, which I believe I sent you there blind, didn't I? Yep, you sent me there blind, and I had an interesting time there. I ran into a... <laughs> Should I tell him now? Or... <laughs> well, your difficulty level is not necessarily the same as others, so why not? Yeah. Well, I had the game on very hard, and I went there, you know, just expecting to get some treasure, and I ran into a... What was it? A legendary... Was it a glowing... Legendary, legendary glowing one. albino something something yeah <laughs> no no no, no. The, the albino were the rad scorpions those, those are somewhere else so yeah yeah the legendary albino rad, rad rad scorpions but yeah there was a legendary glowing death claw here and um that was one tough ass fight <laughs> i was fighting <laughs> for about 15 minutes yeah so this weapon that I'm about to show you on the screen there, you will have seen that I walked up behind that facility and there was a dead body there. That's the child of Adam, of which you pick up the Gramma Gun from. Gamma Gun? Gramma Gun. Gamma Gun. Gamma Gun. And Gamma. that is a really powerful weapon. Now, it's not powerful in things like ghouls because they're radiated, and obviously the Gamma Gun uses radiation, but it's really worth heading in there and picking that up. Right, so the next part of the location that we're going to head off to is... Oh, yeah, the Sentinel site. Now, again, I'm not even going to take them inside here. I think we're just going to let them explore that for themselves. But you've seen where it is on the map now. Make sure you head there. It's really important. And spend some time going through the entire area. It's, um, yeah, it's well worthwhile. <laughs> Check every nook and cranny. There are some fun things there. So. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And not far from that location is this relay tower. Uh, so head up here, turn it on, you'll then start receiving some different radio signals. Uh, you will have seen on the map before a image of a plane that's a crash site and you get a signal here from it. So you'll see where to go. If you've missed it, the radio signal will show you as you head towards it anyway. Make sure you head over there, check that out, take a powerful weapon with you yet again. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. Um, I recommend if you have a squishy build, you need power armor. Um, this area can be extremely hazardous. And yeah, enemies are kind of brutal, especially on the higher difficulty settings. Yeah, most definitely. Now, the last location that I'm going to take you to in the Glowing Sea is a place called Hope's March Pentecostal Church. Now... I had a very interesting experience up here and I wasn't going to share it with anybody. I was going to delete it from my DVR and pretend it never happened. But I figured that's, you know, what's the fun in that? I might as well share it with everyone. So I think we're about to head over there now, maybe a little bit of wandering around. Oh, and so I have um, Hancock with me. I accidentally took his hat off him when I took all of the junk off him to storage. 
I've given it back to him, but he won't put it back on. I'm like, dude, you're going to get sunburned. Uh, I think that would be the least of his problems. I don't even think he can be phased by the sun <laughs> at all. All right, so here's, oh. here's the church now. You, you've you been here, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what I did after we get through this part. I don't want to... <laughs> I, okay, well, I want yeah. our viewers to check this out first. <laughs> when you see what I do right here, you just uh embarrassment. Always look before you leap. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Mm. I'm certainly taking my sweet time. Ah, there you go. But not anymore. <laughs> oh no! I know oh, I dropped his arm. I was like. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you missed the man. Yeah, I panicked. I panic shot. I just pulled out my bats and I was like pressing buttons. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I could them up, but yeah. <laughs> so my oh. second time approaching it, I thought I might, you know, I be a little bit more strategic about the way oh. that I was gonna approach this one so yeah <laughs> i picked them all up from the roof but when That's you get like... down in here make sure you look for a glowing key you're going to need that key to unlock a safe that's upstairs and again to get out step out of this building you need to go all the way back upstairs and jump out through that took me a little bit of time to work out how i was going to get back out of there oh you mutated but yeah how you got in here just now is exactly what i did i just picked them all off before i got in or at least most of them yeah, well, I thought I'd pick them all up before I jumped in there. I get down, there's like six or seven oh of them still God. left. I know, it's not, it, it's total panic mode. So, so far, look, I'm sure that there's going to be one or two tiny hidden places that we haven't found. I mean, you and I have absolutely scoured the glowing sea. And apart from the places that we didn't travel to because we don't want to ruin the elements of the storyline, these are some of the really cool little places that you can head over to Get yourself some legendary items, restock all of your ammo, and have a bit of fun exploring outside of the map, which most people didn't even realize they were able to do. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this right now. Look at all the dead bodies. Count them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a massacre. And that's, um, that's pretty much it. That's all of the places that we've got to show you today. So hopefully, that will help you all find your way around the glowing sea a little bit better. There's no major spoilers there, so have a bit of fun. And if you find somewhere that we didn't, please let us know in the comment section below. Uh, I. <laughs> I. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye.